And then now let's discuss about the percentiles. Let's understand already what is a percentile. Percentiles indicate the percentage of scores that a given value is higher or greater than that. But I'm going to share this definition. Let me share a simple example. This statement is saying, suppose proof for life, proof for life in the name of a person. And yes, I know this person. She is Melena. Suppose proof for life scored at the 70th percentile on an exam. This statement is saying, a proof for life scored better than 70% of learners on the exam. So Erilauri proof of life she did better than 70% of learners on the exam. Erilauri for the marks J R degree she did better than 70% or less than 70% of learners. In other words, 30% of learners they did better than her. But ye na upadile 70% of learners. So we don't know which score. Of course, only a certain score said But for that score, she did 70% better than those learners on the exam. So now we have to calculate the percentiles. Arlebele the examples. This statement is sorry. The results of a test out of 100 of two grade 10 classes are recorded below. So, the marks are grade 10 class. So, this is class 1, and then this is class 2, and then the marks are recorded in this table. So, the first thing is to determine the percentile. We have data in the ascending order. We have data from any other way. Here, Rana 25, 38, 44, 48, until 88. We have already this data is already in the ascending order. So now, Rana will calculate the percentile. Rana a formula. This formula is the position. It is the position of percentile. So more will calculate the percentile. Rana will find the position of the percentile. And then raya on that position, raya the percentile. So every percentile out of hundred times the number of values in the data set. So, it determine the 70th percentile of class 1 and the 40th percentile of class 2. So, I will lay the 70th percentile of class 1 first. And then, I will tell you this one. So, we did it in this way. So, percentile, because this question is in the 70th percentile, I will lay on 70. RLR on the percentile, row 70, and then divide by 100. And then from there, are multiply by number of values in the data set. We are on the class 1, and then we are on the number of values. So give 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So, error will multiply 18 because get the number of values in the data set. And then now, let's press the calculator. 70 divided by 100 and then times 18. It will far 12.6. So, always get calculated the position. The position has to be in a decimal. Renyagor ever in an integer. So to this 12.6 right round off to the nearest integer. So Erila ore elikanali 13. Erika create something like after a decimal, 
this number is about 5 or more. Add this one ka 1. But if it's less than 5, this number fail. The way it looks on. So now we're going to position 13. So it means we are on position 13. And then we're going the percentile. So let's count. Remember our calculator just last one. This is position 1, position 2, position 3, position 4, position 5, position 6, position 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, and then 13, 75. So this means the 70th percentile. Elegantly, seventy-five percent. So, calculate the seventieth percentile. So that's how we calculate the percentile. So now, arrebele the next one. Yeah, the fortieth percentile. Resume chat last two. So this one read it in this way, just the same as yet last one. Let's worry. The first thing we need find out the position. So let's worry the position. Elegantly the percentile and then the percentile more near guy 40 so rl robali 40 and then divide by 100 and then times the number of values in the data set look counter this values you will realize or get 18 so rnali 40 divide by 100 and then times 18 so 40 divide by 100 times 18 elegantly 7.2 so now we're going to round off this number to the nearest integer so this is approximately to 7 so because if this number is less than 5 don't this one but if you have 5 or more add 1 so this is the position so we percentile narrow area in position 7 so let's count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and then in position 7, Rnali 57. So this means the 40th percentile Elikanali 57%. So this is our answer. Arlebelele part B or a ring. Part B er explain what is meant by the 70th percentile and the 40th percentile of class 2. Now let's explain already the 70th percentile at class 1 er ring and the 40th percentile of class 2 er ring. So this is the answer. Remember already. A, the 70th percentile regrele 75 percent and then year 40 regrele 57 so in class one 70 percent of the marks are less than or equals to 75 because i had 75 and then this one in class two 40 percent of the marks are less than or equals to 57 percent so now let's about the specific percentage key 57 and then this one 75 so does it about the percentiles